How's everyone? Welcome to another racket review right here on Open Court. I'm Kent, and by now you guys probably have heard that Head has released the new Auxetic 2.0 Extreme Series. I'm a big fan of the Extreme Series. It's right up there with the Speed and the Boom as one of my favorite series in Head's lineup. And among those, I especially like the Tour, the more controlled version. So today I'm reviewing the update to the Extreme Tour. It's the Head Auxetic 2.0 Extreme Pro. Let's check it out. So first I want to give a quick shout out to On Point Sports here in Hawaii. That's where I got this racket to demo and they were gracious enough to let me borrow this racket to test. They have a wide selection of tennis and pickleball gear so if you're ever in Hawaii check out On Point Sports for all your tennis related needs. Okay, so Head has introduced the Auxetic 2.0 to their Extreme series. So this is the Extreme Pro, not to be confused with the 2022 edition of the Extreme Pro. This has been rebranded from the Extreme Tour. So the Extreme Tour is gone. It has now been renamed the Extreme Pro. And as far as I could tell, the Extreme Pro from the previous generation is also gone, which is fine because the MP version is pretty much their more uh, user-friendly version has a little bit more power potential and I didn't really think it needed the MP, the Pro and the Tour anyway so I think Head made a wise move by getting rid of the Pro and just rebranding the Tour because the Tour and the MP play very differently as we'll get into with the specs. So Auxetic 2.0, I'm not going to go over everything in it but Auxetic is included in the bridge here as well as in the handle for better ball feedback and it also retains the graphene technology. Another signature technology in the Extreme lineup that's not in any of Head's other rackets is the spin grommets. So it has a larger funnel shaped grommets in the top over here that facilitates a little bit more string movement, 360 degree string movement to provide more spin potential. So the Extreme Tour or the Pro, the new one, is the most control oriented version of the Extreme lineup and I was a big fan of the previous edition. This I actually own, this is the Extreme Tour Night Edition. This is the Graphene 360 version. So this is two generations ago. This does not include Auxetic, but I was a big fan of the new, more control oriented layup. So let's get into the specs real quick. Here they are. So as you can see, it's a 98 square inch head. The other extremes have always been 100. So the smaller head size gives a little bit more precision. It has a thinner beam at 21, 22, and 21. 16, 19, but it's actually a fairly tight 16, 19, and the weight and balance gives a lot of room for customization. You can add weight to the head for more stability or weight to the handle for a little bit more whippy feel. So the Extreme Tour, or the Pro, as well as the Head Boom Pro and the Head Speed Pro, those are my top three favorite rackets currently on the market. So I was very excited to get this update to the Extreme Tour. So let's get on the court and let's test this out. But before we do that, if you guys like this content and want to see more, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button to keep the reviews coming. So let's start with the pros of the 2024 Head Auxetic 2.0 Extreme Pro. Boy, that's a long name. First of all, this racket has a fantastic blend of power, spin, and control. The Extreme line has historically been a power-oriented frame that also provided tremendous spin potential from the free string movement. The new Pro version brings some much needed control to the table with the smaller head and thinner beam. I used to use the head Graphene Extreme Pro from 2013 and this new Extreme Pro is a completely different frame. The 2013 version was a very stiff 100 square inch head and had so much power. I used to play with a full bed of Technifiber 4S at 56 pounds in that racket and that would kill most players arms but I needed something that stiff and tight to get control from that frame. Not so from the new Extreme. This racket does a good job of keeping most of my aggressive ground strokes inside the lines with the low trajectory and spin. I say most because I did struggle in one area that I'll talk about later. This racket, much like the previous generation, performs very well from behind the baseline. I'm more of a net player, but with the Extreme Pro, I thoroughly enjoyed camping on the baseline and participating in ground stroke rallies. I had pinpoint control from left to right and I could also hit deep with so much heavy spin. 
My opponents were commenting that they noticed my forehands felt a bit heavier than usual. One area that I really enjoy the Extreme Pro is the backhand. Although I like the Boom and Speed Pros, my backhands with those rackets aren't very good. But the Extreme Pro has a different head shape than those two by being a little longer from the 6 to 12 position. That means the main strings are a bit longer and this results in better pop for me on my backhand. I could rotate my hips and drive through the backhand and it caused fits from my opponents. I also had good directional control and I could hit down the line over the high part of the net easily. The longer mains also meant defensive ground strokes also had a decent amount of pace and I never felt I couldn't regain my offensive footing with the extreme. No matter where I was on the baseline, I felt this racket allowed me to hit just about every shot in my arsenal. The longer mains also allowed me to hit penetrating flat serves. When I struck the ball cleanly in the upper sweet spot, I felt the strings really pocket and the racket would launch the ball with good force. My slice and flat serves had good net clearance and it made following my serve to the net very easy. The spin generation is also exceptional with this racket as that is the extreme line's calling card. I have a semi-western grip on my forehand and I tend to hit the ball a little more in a line but I do have some natural topspin due to the way I hold the racket. The Extreme Pro added more topspin than most other rackets I've tried. The larger spin grommets also gave the racket good pocketing because the strings had more room to stretch and I could feel the strings gripping and snapping back to provide spin. But arguably the most noteworthy area where it comes to spin was my kick serve. This is the area where I judge a racket spin potential most because I have to be the one to provide all the spin using pronation. If I have to work extra hard to get my kick serve to bounce high, that means the racket isn't really giving me any help. That was not the case with the Extreme Pro. Again, I really felt the strings gripping the ball and when I snapped my wrist, I could feel the racket pulling the ball down which caused my kick serve to dive just inside the service line and kick up. It was so easy to drop the kick serve onto the backhand corner and this led to many short balls for me to attack. This racket also has a fairly headlight and maneuverable feel. I could snap my wrist and pronate on the serve easily and at net. I could get the racket into position to hit defensive volleys or use my drop shots and angle volleys to claim a point. I could carve up the front court with my array of volleys and I felt confident going for risky shots even when it wasn't the perfect time to try it. The reason why I've always liked the Extreme Tour, now the Pro, is because it gives me confidence and in my humble opinion that is the most important factor a racket should have for any player. Tennis is more mental than physical and if you believe you can hit a shot and play your game confidently, that will give you an edge in a match. And lastly, this new Extreme Pro, much like Head's other Auxetic rackets, is very comfortable. It's not as plush as the Yonex Percept or as flexy as the Wilson Clash, but the Auxetic line does a good job of filtering out unwanted vibrations and protecting your elbow. This is a pro for most people, but honestly, I felt this racket was too soft for me, and that brings us to the next segment. So now let's get into the cons of the Head Auxetic 2.0 Extreme Pro. There aren't a lot and most of them are small nitpicks, but picking up where we left off, the new Extreme is a bit too soft and dampened for me. I prefer a stiffer response because I like to feel the direct ball feedback. This racket lacked the satisfying pop sensation when I struck the ball with a fast swing. I also had some issues with the touch on angle volleys. Drop shots were generally fine because I usually only try a drop shot when my opponent gives me a sitter, but if my opponent hits something with moderate pace and I tried angling it off, I couldn't quite grasp the feel and timing. Also, the Extreme Pro's headlight maneuverability comes at the cost of torsional stability. This racket tended to flutter in the hand if I was trying to redirect my opponent's hard shots. I especially noticed this when I was hitting defensive outstretched ground strokes. When the racket twisted in my hand, that caused the ball to slide on the strings for a split second and come off near the frame. My backhand return is where I had the biggest issue with this which is surprising because since I have a two-handed backhand, the racket shouldn't twist as much. But I struggled to hit the ball clean at times and this racket doesn't have quite enough stability and plow through to get any pace on shots hit outside the sweet spot. The power in the sweet spot is awesome though so maybe if you just added a bit more weight it will achieve the necessary stability. I also noticed my slices tended to float up a bit. The spin on slices was great and I noticed my ball curving in the air and bouncing to the side. But the trajectory is where I sometimes struggled. This is most likely due to the spin grommets. The strings move more because of the large grommet holes and this causes the ball to sit on the string slightly longer. When it launches off, it comes off at a high trajectory. I think if you string at a low tension, this launch angle could have adverse effects on your shot making. 
And lastly, the spin grommets do create a lot of string movement. So historically, the Extreme and other rackets like the Pure Arrow that have these spin grommets tend to eat away strings a little bit quicker. So maybe you should use something more durable. Overall, I didn't have any major issues as the Extreme Pro is one of my go-to rackets already. And most of these can be solved with some customization or specific strings. Compared to the Speed Pro, which is more of a baseliner stick, the Extreme Pro is a very balanced racket from the baseline and net. So then, who is the head Auxetic 2.0 Extreme Pro for? It's for players looking for a balanced racket in terms of spin, power, and control. This is a very versatile stick, but I think the Extreme Pro is better suited for spin players who like to push their opponents around with top spin on the baseline. Flat hitters might find the launch a bit uncontrollable because the large grommet holes create a larger than average trampoline effect. That being said, I don't think this Auxetic 2.0 edition differentiates itself enough from the previous model to warrant an upgrade. The Speed Pro had an overhaul in the specs, but there are no such differences with the Extreme. I don't feel the need to upgrade from my Graphene 360 Plus edition either. So now let me hear your thoughts about this new Extreme Pro in the comments. Have you tried it? Which is your favorite Extreme racket? And how do you think this racket compares to other spin rackets like the Pure Arrow or V-Core? Thank you for watching this review of the Head Auxetic 2.0 Extreme Pro right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.